Hello, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Everybody being stuck in the house, I decided to go around and scavenged up a few things that I have sitting around the house to make a video for some crafts that you maybe would have all the stuff in your home to make. I've got a couple of pieces of four by fours that I've cut down and made a couple of different sizes that we're gonna turn into candlesticks. I have a canvas from the Dollar Tree that I had on hand. I'm gonna show you how to take burlap with freezer paper and print on your printer. It's a pretty cool little effect. I've done a couple of other ones and I wanna show you how I do that. I had this Maxwell House coffee tin and I had this, I had just, it was a bunch of random parts that I had that I had put together and made another project and it just didn't work out. So I'm gonna stick this on the bottom and show you some cool different ideas on that. All right, so for this project, I'm just going to take a couple of four befores that I had. You can even, I mean, like, I know right now you may not be able to, but you can even get like a hardware store or something to cut them down for you. And you can do a couple of different heights. I wish I had another one. I could have done like three of them, three different heights, but this is just what I had in hand, on hand. And this is what I'm going to make. All right, let's open up my Minwax stain. and push up my sleeves because I do not want this on my shirt. <laughs> all right, so you just take a foam brush and all we're gonna do is on the corners, we're just gonna rub this in. You don't want to do the whole thing. And if you get it on the other, it doesn't really matter, but I just like to really do it on all the edges and you want it to soak in really good because we're going to distress the wood. And if you don't want a um, rustic look you don't have to do this step because the only reason I'm doing this is so when I paint on the uh, the wood it will when I sand it down you'll see this up underneath it all right that is done now that my stain is dried we're gonna put a real quick coat of white chalk paint on these And I only do one coat because I don't care that it's not covered really good because we're gonna sand some of it off. Wait for it to dry. <laughs> we wait for drying time a lot. All right, these are dry. So now I'm going to uh, sand the corners and the edges. You just want to kind of hit the areas in the corners. And you can sand as much or a little as you want on this. Another step that you can you can pass or you can do. These are really stark white, and if that's your decor, then that's what you want to do. I take an ink distressing pad. This is called Vintage Photo, and I put it on a little bit on my foam. I put it on my foam, 
and then I just kind of rub over it to give it like a, a dirt, <laughs> dirty look, <laughs> an antique look. So it has kind of an antique look to it. Because I don't like the stark whiteness of it. But you just rub over it. You're not putting, you can do as much or as little as you like for this. Another look that would be really cute, would be cute, is you could take some black paint and just kind of rub around the edges to give that farmhouse look as well. Now, after you do that, we're going to put the, we're going to glue on the burlap. The burlap is going to be glued on. You're going to glue it on every corner and make sure that it stays. There is no rhyme or how high. I like to kind of put it in about the middle. And then we just hot glue it on. I hate hot gluing <laughs> burlap, it burns. but we want to make sure that it's in the center and we do it all the way around. And you, like I said, you want to glue it in several places and I'll explain why here in a few minutes. And then we're just going to lay this last down. Now let's do the exact same thing on the other one. All of the hot glue. Now here's why I hot glue this on is because the next step I do, I put this on, but you can change this out for the holidays. I have ribbons for Christmas. I have ribbons that I put on for Easter that has my Easter colors on it. But this is not a ribbon, but you can just take it and tie it, go around, and then just tie it in a knot. and then fix the fabric. You gotta pull that down. And you just scoot it to where you need it. And then that's it. <laughs> that is so easy. So you can use fabric like this. You can use ribbon too. And like I said, it's easy. You just tie it around and tie it into a knot. And then we just move it around. Same scenario, two different looks, and it's just whichever way you want it to be. And like I said, let's just say, hey, I want the black and white instead of this. You can make several of them. You just, this is the reason we glue the burlap on is you just scoot this off so you just scoot that off and then you slide another one back on i had to tie this one because i didn't have one done but that's all you do and then you put your candles on top and you're done. Now for this project, there's a ton of ways that you can do it. You can take this and just leave the canvas. And if you had like some pretty paper or anything you wanted to decoupage, you could do that. And then you could put the burlap over. You could take fabric and put on there and then put the burlap over. But for my project, I think what I want to do is take this canvas off and it leaves a wooden square. And then I'm going to stain that wooden square and then print on the burlap and put it behind it to frame my picture. This is the hardest part about this is getting these off. It's not fun. 
To take these apart, you just take a flat head screwdriver and pry off the screws. And it's hard. <laughs> I got all the staples out. This is gonna be my front, but I wanna go ahead and stain everything. All right, I've got that all stained and we're gonna put that aside to dry. Now, I already had this one done, but this is just one of the little pots from the Dollar Tree. It's, uh, I just painted it white, and then I just sanded over the top of it to, to give it like an aged distress look. Because I'm gonna take my little frame and set it up on top of it to make a stand out of it. Let's now do the burlap and get it ready. For this, we need an iron. And I go ahead and get me a regular sheet of paper. It, um, that way you can cut your parchment paper the size that it needs to be. So I just take my parchment paper, lay it on top of my paper and then cut the size that it needs to be because you want it the size of a piece of paper so it'll go through your printer. Now, as I put it up, you're gonna take your burlap and we're gonna iron out and make sure it's all flat if you've got a piece like mine that's got some. All right, once you do that, you're gonna take the wax side up and you're gonna lay your burlap on top of that. Then you're gonna take and you're gonna iron on high the burlap to the paper. And you do it on this side and then we'll flip it over and do it on the back of the paper as well. And then you let it dry, let it dry. <laughs> then you let it cool off. So we're gonna let this cool for just a minute and then we're gonna cut the burlap to the size. Then you're gonna cut down your burlap to the size of your piece of paper. And it's okay if it's longer, the printer doesn't care that. All right, let's go to the printer and print this out real quick. Just take the picture that you wanna print and send it to the printer. On my printer, the burlap needed to be face down. You can print anything on burlap with a printer. You just put this paper on the back of it and send it through the printer. So now what I'll do is I want to center this in there. Once I get it where I like it, I take my hot glue gun and I'll put like a corner here just to kind of get that in. That way I don't lose where it needs to be. And then I just start gluing it down. And like I said, I leave this on the back of it for right now. I will take it off 
but right this minute I want it on there. Plus two, if you take this off ahead of time, you want to talk about burning some fingers because <laughs> the glue comes through. All right, so that's it. Yeah. All right, now, once you have it all glued down and everything is glued, we're gonna peel off this back end. And it just peels off really easy. I say it peels off really easy. I guess I hot glued it to it. Now, I just need to cut this off to the edge. So I just take it and cut it along the edge. All right, so once you do that, you've got this cut around the edge. It looks really cute. And then we just glue it to this in the center. We're gonna let that dry a minute. So I've got it glued to this. Just turned out really cute. I really like how it looks. I think I'm gonna add some twine to the bottom. And we can make a cute little bow. Take four fingers and wrap it. Small piece of twine. Pinch it together. And tie it in a knot. <laughs> Pull it together and do a couple of knots. project is done. This is a very quick project. Literally probably took me five minutes from start to finish. Other than having to wait for the stain to dry. And I love how it turned out. Really cute. Now for this project, I'm going to take the Maxwell House jar. I'm going to paint it a color. You can paint it whatever color. I have like this beautiful chalk all ivory. It's called pool. I have this chalk paint that I'm going to use. And then we're just gonna paint the can. And it's gonna take a few coats to cover it up. All right, we got one coat. We'll put one more coat on it here in a minute. We gotta wait for that to dry. While we're waiting on that to dry, I'm gonna do the same steps again to print on burlap. But this time I'm gonna do a smaller picture because I'm gonna put the burlap around the can. This time you will do the same process as we did before. But this time I shrunk the picture smaller to fit my project. waiting on the can to dry, I printed out my, my farmhouse eggs that I'm going to put on my can. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so that we can get it ready for the can. On this particular thing, I'm going to have to go ahead and take off my backing before we start. Now, to make, to make burlap cut out perfect, the best way to do this is to find a line that goes from top to bottom or whichever way. The best thing to do is to find a line and then take and pull that out. Then repeat that process 
four more times until you have one pulled out all the way around it. This is the best way to get a clean edge and to keep it from being like Rabbling and it just doesn't look good. So you just pull that out and now we cut along the that line Now after that's cut out to fray the edges you just pull off a couple of the strings out And it gives kind of a cute little frayed look on the edges. All right, so I found this cute black ribbon that I'm gonna run around the top and the bottom. So I just kind of look at it and see where I want it. We're gonna. And we're just gonna hot glue this on to the top. So the top is glued on and I'm going to glue some more around the bottom as well. And then we're just going to make sure that, that the seams are on the back and then we're going to glue this on the front. I painted this a hammered black because I found the black ribbon to put on it that I think it's really cute. I'm just going to hot glue it onto the can. I think it turned out cute. Hope that you enjoyed these three projects that I made. They were all super easy and maybe you've got the things just around your house like I did to make them. The candlestick holders, those are the most versatile thing you can do. You can change out the ribbon for Christmas. You can make them for like different decors if you just wanna move them around. Holidays, so cheap to make. They literally just take the things that you've got laying around most of the time. Also, remember on top of the candlestick holders, don't limit yourself to just putting candles on top. Bird cages are cute, little animals are cute if you can find something that fits on top of it. There's all kinds of different ideas. I made some for Christmas auction, our caravan Christmas auction, that I found some little tins and I put them on top of them also and screwed it down so you had like a little tin to put your candle in. Also, the burlap, printing on burlap, how many ideas can you use that for? That is like, I never would have thought that that would have worked, but it works really good. I hope you're enjoying my channel. I have crafts, real estate, a little bit of everything, because I'm your crafty realtor. Please like and subscribe. Till next time.